Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Beginner's Guide to Tarkov. Today we're going to be focusing on the hideout and specifically what does it do? What What is the purpose of the hideout and how can that benefit you as a player of Escape from Tarkov? So as we go into the hideout what you will see is my hideout is towards the late game itself. So what you can see here are various different icons across the entire screen there's different things there's, there's a lot to take in here so i'll try and break it down to what you'll most probably see so you will have icons such as the med station the rest space heating and eventually you'll get like the generator the lavatory and the workbenches again all of this probably means next to nothing to you if you are a new player but i'm going to go over why the hideout itself is actually so important where the benefits are of upgrading the hideout as much as possible and what you can get out of it if you're towards the mid or late game. Now currently what you'll have is you'll have the option to upgrade your med station. In my opinion upgrading your med station is one of the most crucial parts of the early game as what that will do is that will actually regenerate your health when you are outside of a raid. So within Escape from Tarkov, once you go into a raid, if you die or if you are injured, as soon as you finish that raid itself and you don't decide to heal yourself, your character has a natural heal when outside of raid. The med station actually determines how quickly your PMC does in fact heal out of raid. So it is so very crucial to make sure that you have that available. Now across the hideout there are various different stations that actually improve your character like that so for example the rest space that negates negative effects it increases energy regeneration health regeneration maximum energy reserves are also increased that's at level three though um, it's the same with the heating so that also increases your energy regeneration now the way to increase energy regeneration in raid is to eat food it's the same with hydration once you start having the water collector then you'll see that your hydration begins to increase outside of raid now your health your hydration and your energy will naturally increase even if you don't upgrade your hideout what the hideout will give you is just a faster regen time on those three metrics so they are just so very important to get you back into those raids as quickly as possible. Now, as you progress through, you will start to hit certain cho choke points and you know, you'll know you find it hard to progress going forward. Now, the first choke point that you may hit early on is most probably your water collector. So level one water collector does require quite a few barter items that are quite difficult to get and they would be the corrugated hoses. In order to find the corrugated hoses, you'll be looking at certain maps such as Interchange to try and find them to upgrade that in time. Next choke point will most probably be Illumination Part 2. So Illumination 2 requires 14 light bulbs and light bulbs, whilst they may be in abundance, you'll be lucky to find maybe two in a raid and then it's a requirement of actually getting out, surviving the raid or putting it in your container. Now the next important station would be the intelligence center. And the reason the intelligence center is such an important station is that actually lowers the time for your scavs cooldown. Again, we will get to that most probably at a later video. It will also increase your quest money reward boost and your insurance return time eventually. It also reduces the flea market commission once you get it to a higher level. So it is a very important station to get as early as possible. Now with the workbench, this is another key station to make sure you're focusing on as the workbench will allow you to edit presets of weapons that are in your stash, which makes it even easier to mod a weapon. Now in order for modding weapons, there will be another video specifically talking about different attachments and different ammo as well so that you can get a good understanding of what's required within the realms of Tarkov in terms of weapon selection, weapon upgrading and ammo selection as well. And that is more or less it, just a very very quick episode on the hideout, why it's important to focus on the hideout itself and genuinely 
this should be one of your main focuses whilst playing Escape from Tarkov. If you have any questions or you're just curious about a particular station, kind of what benefits it gives or what may be required to get it to what level, then just please let me know down in the comments below and I will try and help you guys as much as possible with this one. But again, thank you for watching these videos. Uh, hopefully you're learning something from them. Let me know if you are. And again, I will be there if you need any more help. So thank you guys and goodbye.